Inflation hits the Ottawa housing market. Now what? My name is Greg Hamry from REMAX Affiliates in Ottawa and the Hamry Real Estate Team. And we really had a sense that the pot was boiling over on the stove. It, you know, everything is pricing on every, every category of food, gasoline, home prices were, were uh, you know, again, going out of control in a lot of cases. Something had to happen. Affordability was plunging and uh, it, you could really feel it in the pressure of buyers, in the anxiety of buyers, and some buyers just stepping right out of the market. They just couldn't compete anymore. They couldn't take the anxiety. A lot of uh, a lot of pressure now the, uh, on on the government to react, uh, and they did. They rose their, their interest rate for the second time uh, in the last three months. Uh, it's now back to where it was 24 months ago. So pre pre pandemic levels. Is that shocking? No. We needed to get there. Uh, we needed to be in a situation where uh, interest rates would would somewhat slow down the market. The problem in Ottawa is that Canada has the lowest number of average homes available. Uh, so we ha still have a very low inventory level. Should this uh, interest rate adjustment uh, uh, push some buyers to lower price points? Yes, it will. That, you know, the million dollar plus buyer may come into the million, 750 to a million and that 750 to 500 may be pressured into a condominium. And you're going to see that the shift in the marketplace. Although again, these, these interest rates right now are not, they're not extravagant. They're not, they're not over the top. We, we've been here before and, and not that long ago. Uh, so, but it is a, a somewhat of a relief for buyers in that some, uh, the purchasing power of some buyers will dissipate, will, will be less. So there'll be, we're expecting there won't be a dozen offers or uh, you know, half a dozen offers on certain product. You're going to see uh, homes selling with less competition on the buyer side. Uh, a little bit of a slowdown. However, inventory should increase in the next 30 to 60 days. And we're seeing that already. We're very busy in our office uh, today. It's, a, it's just going into the Easter weekend. There's a frenzy of, of new listings coming on because it's actually easier to sell your home today. Uh, it's easier to sell your home in, in, in terms of you can control the closing date, the terms of the deal, and uh, less negotiations involved. So. Uh, as, as a home seller, you want to take advantage of these still very low interest rates because it's just easier to sell your home. You're talking about, you know, a week or two, less than 30 days, as opposed to months where we were, you know, six or seven years ago, where it was, it was multiple months. And we, we were able to gain great relationships with our sellers at those times because we had the time. Uh, the, the amount of housing, though, uh, the, the interest rate in Ottawa dropping will is not expected to affect housing prices. Uh, it's, it's that supply and demand and the economics. The pricing should level off. That's what we needed to. These 25% uh, increases every year for multiple years in a row is just n n unsustainable. So we need those prices to level off. But you have to understand that somebody who purchased 24 months ago has 50% equity in their home. Home per, homeowners right now with, with mortgages have 50% equity. So there's, there's a lot of equity in your home. There's a, there's no crash in sight that all we need though is more, is more foundations being built. And it's not just a case of, can we build more foundations? It's, it's a labor shortage as well, which we're, we're running into. There will be less homes this fall. Uh, I think the spike in inventory is going to be in the next 60 days. And, and that's going to be the, the best selection of inventory for buyers and the best time to be a seller. Uh, things will slow down in the fall as far as there'll be less homes going on the market and there'll be less, uh, less availability and less options for buyers. So you really wanna get in on that now. Uh, pricing, again, should stay close. We've kind of leveled off here in the last few days. You, you really know where things are going. Uh, sellers, it's, it's still a seller's market though. Uh, a little bit of the frenzy is dissipated from the sizzle of it. Um, but we've got some really nice product coming on and we're priced as to today's market, uh, understanding what's going on today. Uh, a little bit of a, of a tip though for, for any homeowners or people looking at their mortgage right now, now is not the time to lock into a fixed rate mortgage that locks you in for five years. This inflation should be corrected in the next nine to 12 months. So we're gonna see another jump uh, by June 1st. Uh, interest rates will go up uh, another half a point at, are expected to go up another half a point this year uh, before the end of summer. Uh, hopefully they get inflation under control and then rates should be back down uh, next year 
uh, 24 months from now or 12 months from now. So my suggestion to you is take a variable rate. Variable rates are still extremely affordable. Uh, we're talking in the un, under 4% range, under 2% in a variable actually, and under 4% in a fixed five year. So extremely attractive rates if you've been in this for the long game and you're as old as I am, 20 plus years in real estate, but now is a great time to be selling your house. Get on the market while it's still a very attractive. Uh, when Ottawa goes flat, it goes flat for a long time. And uh, it, it can be months or it can be years where the thing level out. We, I experienced one year where it was six years where pricing stayed the same. So make sure you're in your forever home right now. Now's the time to think about it. Uh, if you're looking for a, a buyer out there, get pre-approved right now and get locked in at today's rates. Still very affordable and you're going to see some of the best selection of inventory in the next 60 days. My name is Greg Hamry from REMAX Affiliates in Ottawa and the Hamry Real Estate Team. We hope to see you soon. Take care.